Okay, here's our first attempt at uh, showing a uh, relative compression test using a uh, low amp probe here. And we'll start. We'll turn the low amp, or we'll start with a high amp probe, and we'll turn it over to the 400 amp setting. Then we'll go over here to the lab scope. If you can see that, I don't know. It's kind of bright. We'll turn on our lab scope. We got one trace on. We got our trace set here. First, we'll set the sweep time. You want to go to two seconds sweep. So your time across the bottom here will be two seconds. Then you want to go to, uh, we're on channel one here, we'll go to displayed. We got, the dis we got it set on displayed here. Then we go to voltage, DC, we'll hit We'll start out, we'll go to 500 millivolt screen. We'll click OK and then OK there. And we'll take our low amp or our high amp probe, clamp it around the, around the battery cable, and then we'll go to uh, crank our engine and see what happens here on the panel. Okay, we got a. Uh, we'll stop the thing here, and we'll play it back a little bit and see what we got. There's our. There's our uh, relative compression as it's shown in total amps. So along the scale here, along the side, we can see that it took probably a good 600, we got 400 there, it took probably a good 600 amps to get the starter cranking, but once we're cranking, it's only drawing maybe 100, 150 amps, and for the sake of this test, I took the number three spark plug out, and that's what we see right here, is that we can count this, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this is an eight cylinder truck, this is a five, three, in a 05 Suburban. So we could see we got one space missing and that would be our our dead cylinder. But this is just a test to show total cranking amps. Now we'll go do a a low compression test. We'll have to change our uh, our current probe. We'll go over to uh, our low amp probe which is uh, right here and we'll set that at the, we'll put it on a 40 amp setting and we'll bring it over here clamp it around the battery and we go to hook that up here plug this one in instead and then on our scope setting what we want to do we go back to trace trace one we want to go to low amps we go to 40 amp and we go here to a 40 amp setting and then over here to AC couple so we're AC coupling this this shot here and we'll bring that to the middle of the screen and then we'll take it back here and uh, oh yeah you should always uh, have to set up your low amp probe you want to push the zero button to re-zero it, and then we'll crank the engine over. And there we have our, that's with AC couple. Now we could get an even finer screen here if we would, we could see once again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we have a missing hole, which would be our dead cylinder. We'll try to change that a little bit. We gotta put this back to live. Go over to traces here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we'll try to go to a 20 amp. And then we're still on AC couple. And we'll see what we get with this, if we get a little better definition or not.
stop this and go back. Now we can see our, our waveform is getting a little bit bigger, which is what we would want here. If we wanted better definition, we could see we got what you're really looking for is any type of pattern that that'll constantly repeat itself. Uh, a small variation here and there is probably not a real big deal. But when you see a constant hole, or if you had like a constant, say you had a a leaky valve or something, or a piston rings that were shot, and you had on one cylinder, and you just had one one low spot, you would try to find the pattern. If you got an eight-cylinder engine, you would see a pattern with eight spikes, and then you would just look for that for that spike. I'm going to try change the setting on the uh, low amp probe. We're going to go to set that to 20, and then go back here. And we'll set that up again and we'll crank it. And that didn't work very well. But Okay, well we'll just leave it at that then. Okay, that's all.